one of the principles of this course is that learning is inherently active. I cannot simply pour information into your head like in this Calvin and Hobbes comic. Thus, you should not be spending time during class or while watching the videos just sitting and writing everything down. Everything is recorded after all. Moreover, the slides with the problems will be posted to Moodle immediately before class and updated after class with the solutions and notes. Thus, instead of writing everything down, I would recommend that during class time or while watching the videos, you one, use ideas to solve the difficult problems that we're, we will encounter during class. These are more akin to what homework problems might have been in other courses and will be the most reflective example of what you will be expected to do on the exams. Two, I will expect you to apply these ideas to new situations. And so this is another skill you should be practicing during class. Three, you should be trying to connect the new material to stuff you already know. The like key phrase of neuroscience, which applies to education in this sense, is neurons that fire together, wire together. So if you can connect stuff we're learning in physics to information you already know from physics 131 or chemistry or biology or your other aspects of your life, you are going to be much more likely to remember it and understand it. Four, when we go through and review problems on which you get stuck and you will get stuck during class, that's okay, stop and reflect. Make a note of the physics ideas that you did not understand. So after you solve a problem in class, I will go over it. And when we get to the part you're stuck, try to articulate what I did that was different than what you were doing and what would have allowed you to become unstuck. Okay. And write that down. And I'll tell you a hint right now. The answer is never, I forgot such and such formula. And finally, fifth, record and reflect on all of your mistakes. Making mistakes during class is inconsequential, right? Nothing's graded. So don't be afraid to not know. Do, however, write down your mistakes so that you don't make them again. I mean, you, in a sense, you can think of learning as making new mistakes. That is really should be part of your mindset is to make new mistakes all the time. Finally, I want to acknowledge that learning is hard. It's a struggle. It's frustrating. And I want you to experience that frustration in an environment where you are supported by myself and the rest of the teaching team. So whether that's during the synchronous class times or on the help forum or during the Zoom help sessions, I want you to be supported in this struggle.